Wary of the Corps' massive efforts to protect the gate on Barathrum, the armed commander took an unprecedented action and expended the vast quantities of energy necessary to send a scouting team ahead before crossing the gate personally. The team did not return. The destination world, Rouge Pelt, had long been occupied by the Corps, and no armed personnel had reached the planet in over a thousand years. Alright, so we got to capture an advanced radar tower. Welcome back to this episode of um, Total Annihilation. This is the one with the asteroid showers. I just remembered that whole nonsense from a long time ago. Oh, look, it's a zipper. He's still alive. Oh, is is he gonna? Is he like scripted to die? Yeah, cause I can't. Oh, now I can control him. All right, we saved him. I know I should have not degunned that maybe, but I was a little afraid that the zipper was gonna get yeeted. So we have a buddy. Oh, hi guys. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we will protect this zipper with our lives. He is. The only soldier who remains alive from our advanced scouting party. He has information. Look at this vast area he managed to explore and scout ahead for us. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll shut up. Um, interesting. So this is like a this is like a no build mission, basically. I just realized that. So I didn't remember. Clearly, don't remember that well. Okay, so the zipper is actually a lot more valuable than I thought he was. Unfortunately, we have a no-build mission with, uh... I mean, it's not no-build, because I'm obviously building things. But our wind is not the greatest, but that's alright. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get a couple of, um... solar collectors up. And, because I'm guessing, again, we're on our own. For some reason, we cannot build a, uh... K-Bot lab or anything. But, I mean, our mission is just to capture the core's advanced radar, apparently. Um, so we'll get our energy production high enough, after which time, you know, we will be able to, uh, support our degun habit, that nasty habit we have. And I love how, I think, so the AK must have left wreckage, because maybe it was killed, I don't know what happened there, normally degun stuff doesn't leave any wreckage. Let's go ahead and we'll get one more solar collector. How much? Yeah, so we'll be able to go ahead and go into an energy storage as well. All right. Once uh, once the energy storage is online, we'll be able to degun sling like a madman. Oh, the zipper got a kill. Maybe that's... So that's why there's a little bit of wreckage there. Okay. I Am I already forgetting things? Going senile? I am fully honest with you. You might recognize... Oh, he's a different recording session, but same shirt, same day. I've been on a diet for only five days, so it's a little pathetic, I know. But, like, I've been very dedicated, and I'm not cheating. Oh, crap. And, of course, there's roaches. And that... So in that sense, we're actually... I'm kind of glad that we have the zipper because otherwise we would have to, we'd probably end up just losing most of this crap that we built. <clears throat> I'm going to reclaim this stuff um, so that way if I need to pop down, say, like a radar or something. Is that the only thing? I can't build an LLT even. Okay. If I need to pop something down real quick, I can... Uh, do that in the future because obviously we're not going to be getting much metal from anything else and we'll just uh leave our zipper i guess to patrol around the base they give us a lot of plants that's fun commander you are gonna earn your keep by the end here you got a nice geothermal vent to taunt us. How far can we see? Okay, so don't can't see that far. Got got an instigator here. So 
throw down a radar real quick. Now that we're getting towards the edge of our current radar range. Alright. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? I'm just gonna sidestep that shot there, you know. A little harder to sidestep the shots from the weasels, but what you gonna do? Just gotta find our way over to this uh, radar, wherever it is. I'm kind of wondering how many kills we're going to rack up by the end here. So, okay, it looks like this corner is actually clear, unless there's a deleter or something. We've got plenty of energy production, so I'm not even going to waste time capturing these solar collectors. Go ahead and kill them, add to the veterancy. Apparently, I think, in, it, I do believe, I wish that we could see our health bar, like, expressed in, um numerical value instead of just a line to see like how much are we actually getting so there is a regular radar tower i will capture this maybe just to help us get a little more recon a little more intel we'll degun him first oh well oh well we'll build a regular radar tower <laughs> oops we will rebuild the regular radar tower um, and help us out there to get the next layer of recon. Yeah, the enemy is not really that dense on this map. I don't know, maybe so somebody thought this was great fun, I'm thinking, back back when the game was being developed. They're like, what if we have a mission where they just use their commander? Wouldn't that be something? So, But I believe veterancy does stack, so technically I think every five kills, I believe the commander is technically getting like slightly better. I just wish we had a measure of how, like, appreciable that is. Definitely not good enough to 1v1 a heavy tank without the D-gun, I don't think, though. Let's go ahead and get walking this way. We've only got a single enemy contact right now, which is impressive, I guess. So, there's probably some stuff over on this side of the map still. We should be seeing it's a thud. Hello, thud. Goodbye, thud. Didn't want to stick around for some reason. Okay. Yeah, somebody had a great idea. And I'm like, let him use the commander. And I mean, in fairness, like, it's not a bad mission, I guess. It's just... It's not super micro-intense. Okay, there's something right on the edge here. Whatever. What are you? That's just out of our line of sight. Oh, it's another roach. Hello. Just gotta be careful not to, like, accidentally degun the, um... Advanced Radar Tower. That would be awkward. There it is. Our objective. Let's clear around it a little bit just to make sure there's not some unfortunate surprise waiting for us. I think we'll try and take on the Pyro without the D-Gun just because I don't want to accidentally blow up. Oh, that's a Gat Gun. Hey. I wonder what that was doing there. Let's build a radar real quick. Way at the bottom here this should be the last thing we actually need. Okay, it doesn't reveal anything else. So I don't know if the gat guns are just... What was the gat gun there for? I don't know. Eh, he's far enough away. Okay, I think... So all... There's only one enemy dot left. I feel like if that would be an achievement on this uh, map would be to kill everything. And you see there's the meteor shower. Unfortunately, those will actually genuinely damage your stuff, which is super annoying. Um, oh, it's a roach. 
<clears throat> if this was a modern game, that would be like an achievement. See, it actually destroyed the one radar tower. Um, I wonder if there's like a... That's an interesting question. If there's like a special code for this mission. Because I think the meteor is going to happen kind of randomly on the map. But like, obviously the objective is to capture this advanced radar tower. Like, it would kind of suck if it got destroyed by meteorites before you did. Ta-da! We did it. So that was such a quick mission, I think we'll go ahead and do the second one in the same episode. So, stockpile at abutment, apparently. Pushing the core back across Rouge Pelt, armed forces were confronted by a tremendous wall of rock which stretched from horizon to horizon. There appeared to be only a single slender pass through. The core would certainly be waiting there. Okay, so basically just destroy everything because we have the option to capture or destroy. So there's nothing in particular we need... <clears throat> to capture, so just another purge. Purge the enemy. Purge the heretic. The Xeno. The traitor. All that good stuff. Purge them, is the point. Wind speed. It was crap, as uh, the briefing indicated. The briefing's not always the most reliable, but it is generally true, is kind of seemingly my experience with it. Let's go ahead, get the zippers, scouting around. Get ourselves a metal extractor plopped down. Another energy, and then probably vehicle plant, just because the Samson is just too good. Got a nice geothermal vent over here. We'll be able to take advantage of that. Do some metal making, probably. What did this guy find? Oh, a bunch of geothermal vents and a couple metal. That's pretty useful. And still no enemies. So I think we'll be exploring... I think we'll be claiming that area first. That looks pretty valuable. And then, I mean, we'll be claiming all the areas that we can, obviously. It's an RTS game. Whew. This is sort of typical mission of, yeah, if we start on one side, the enemy uh, is foolish enough to not immediately attack you with everything they have, so, which is why you're not immediately dead. Oh, there's a lot of geothermal here too, would you look at that? So we're going to have lots of energy on Rouge Pelt, so that's cool, and we've even got these plants to reclaim. So we'll probably go straight for a geothermal here real quick. Let's get a Fido up as a bit of a guard there. Commander, you reclaim these few rocks and then get a metal down there. And uh, once this construction vehicle is built, I'm thinking we'll go, go for a uh, geothermal. Right off the bat, we can tap the rest of our metal that is in our general area. And then, of course, uh, with the amount of geothermal we're, we're, we're about to have access to, we're going to definitely be able to uh, afford quite a few metal makers. Because, yeah, we got five right here. What do we got? Four more over here, so... It's a tremendous amount of energy. It's a couple fusion reactors worth of energy, especially since I don't know if we can build fusion reactors yet. We did see an enemy fusion reactor. Not last mission, obviously, because that was the no-build um, mission, or I should say maybe no-build of um, other units mission. Uh, but we did see a fusion reactor the mission before that. The core had one, so they'll probably give us fusion reactors soon, I would think. That would make sense to me. But I did not design this game, so who's to say? Let's reclaim, get it rounded aside, let our energy build back up, we'll reclaim a plant, and we can assist again. I 
I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I do think it's kind of fun that TA managed to strike this balance of, like, having a game where you have set resource extraction, um, but also that claiming resources around the map is still gen actually genuinely important. Um, like, that's not something you see a ton of games doing, so that is kind of cool. But let's go ahead. We actually have so much metal. I'm going to go ahead and start making a second construction vehicle. Um, and we'll support the energy draw with plants for the moment until, of course, the geothermal is done. You can just go ahead and start right up here. Start our massive project. Get a couple more queued up because I'm gonna want me a pretty good uh, swarm of engineers. And there we go. That's our uh, that's our energy needs taken care of. Let's reclaim a couple rocks. We'll send the commander over this way. Reclaim the rocks along the way. And then, of course, take out that, uh, or not take out, but, you know, build that metal extractor. And this guy, I want him to help protect our new investment. We are off to a good start. Honestly, with this many geothermal, like, we're going to be in fabulous shape eco-wise, so that is exciting. I'm guessing the resistance will be stiff, but they do actually have a land passage this time, they said. Oh, is the asteroids coming back? Okay, not in my area yet, thankfully. I'm not sure what that was, that boom. The, sh the screen shook a little bit, is the point. I felt it again. You do see them on the mini-map, I guess, I think, from the mission we just played. Maybe the point of that no-build mission is to, like, get you used to the idea that your stuff's randomly gonna get killed, so before you can build anything valuable, we just want to get you used to that concept. So that way you're not too angry when it happens in the next mission. We'll definitely need to be careful. We'll have to have enough... I mean, I'm already building quite a few construction units. Um, have enough around to be repairing, rebuilding our metal extractors, things of that nature. The Wall of Defenders is up to a good start. Commander, you just, uh, just, I guess, reclaim these rocks real quick while you're in the area. Then head back over that way. Let's get another one. You go ahead. So the hovercraft will stay grayed out, I know, because, um... So the hovercraft gantry is a... Hovercraft are core contingency units. So we just don't have access to them ever in OTA. Hovercraft are also a bit weird in uh, Total Annihilation. They pathfinding was already bad, but hovercraft just kind of like -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, like bump around into things in a not the greatest way. spread the metal makers out a little bit so that way if they start dying the explosions shouldn't take each other out quite as much um, 
because that is a significant concern on a map where we get meteor showers. We've got uh, quite the production going already. Quite the AK horde. Providing a decent amount of wreckage for us anyway. in this area. You know you're in Total Annihilation player when you just get really excited to see a big pile of rocks. Couple enemy contacts right in these uh, this on this hill here. Wonder what they are. Okay, but economy is already booming, is the good news. 12 minutes in, and we're at, we're about to be at plus 20 metal, and we're at over a thousand energy. I mean, part of that's, oh, look at that. What do we, we finally have the jammer? I don't think we had that before. So we have, I think in terms of OTA units, I th think this is everything. I can't remember if the phalanx was the core unit, core contingency unit or not. Let's see if we have access to any more advanced structures than we've previously had. It couldn't hurt to check, and as always, it is nice to get the advanced radar, if nothing else. Send the commander up. Oh, hello, that's a crawling bomb. Okay. Probably the same thing over here. Okay. That's a bunch of medium tanks. Not to be confused with crawling bombs, although you could be forgiven for thinking that of them, considering I'm turning them into crawling bombs. More like rolling bombs, I guess. Eh, 
whatever, the defenders will get him. We're, uh, that's alright. What about you, last but not least? Yep, there you are. Alright. Glad we could sanitize the mountaintops a little bit. What do we get? Oh, we do have fusion reactors, and we have a Big Bertha. That's kind of exciting. I was not expecting a Big Bertha. But the thing is, now that we're allowed to have one... It's probably gonna suck. You probably, like, build it and can't hit anything with it. But I feel like we have to try. Um, and definitely... We'll do some, uh... Eh, let's skip the Freedom Fighters and just tech straight into Hawks, I guess. We'll get a few peepers if we are going to do the long-range artillery game. I wonder how forward we should position our Big Bertha. Let's first of all go ahead, we'll get a energy storage because that'll be helpful for having heavy artillery. As for the position of the Bertha itself, I think we'll do up here. It's a bit forward, I know, but I want to make sure we can hit all the way to the back of the enemy base. <clears throat> and it's a campaign mission, after all. What's what's uh, what's it all worth if not a little risk? can't remember. I think Moho Metal Makers are a base unit, but maybe they are um, for contingency, so I don't know if we'll get those either. We are still very much in the positive on energy, and we'll, we now have a whole... There's still going to be one more bad boy coming online. So let's go ahead and make us a few more Metal Makers. Just in case something gets into the backfield here, let's pop up a few defenders. Oh, speaking of uh, asteroids, there you are. So they're gonna take out our metal makers, you bastards. These rocks that fall from above. This is just an, honestly, like, I guess it's, like, in a campaign, it's just a challenge for you to overcome, so it's fine. In multiplayer, I can't remember if there were maps that had the asteroids on them in multiplayer, but you can imagine why, like, having random DPS from the sky, and not a small amount of it either, like, look how much it's eating away at some of our stuff here. Um... Definitely not a balanced thing. So. Let's, uh. Go ahead. Have the commander help out. Let's, um. Build a sentinel up here as well. Pairs are well underway for the moment.
And while there are rocks around, we might as well have the commander reclaim them, considering we are now losing metal slowly but surely once again. Birth is almost done, so let's see what there is to be seen. Can we got more crawling bombs? Got enemy artillery, heavy tanks, mobile artillery, storage. The core base has gotten wrecked by res uh, meteor showers, clearly, as well. Oh, we got a vamp finally, I think. Looks like the core has uh, advanced air at long last. Let's see. Go ahead and see if we can get the Bertha to kill a few things. It's just impressive when it shoots. I remember the, the sound of it's kind of cool for an old game. Let's see. There we go. Like, it has a nice crack to it. It's, like, very satisfying, I feel. Alright. One kill. Two kills. <laughs> I did wonder a little bit about the cliff face, how well it could shoot over it, but we can shoot through the gap, hopefully, a little. I think we're hitting crawling bombs, but I didn't know any better. Four kills on the Bertha. Okay, that might unfortunately be the extent of what we can do with it, sadly. I did not consider the cliff when we uh, started. Oh, and would you look at that? More glorious fun. <clears throat> hmm. What else? Maybe some Bulldogs, because they will be decent for dealing with the Gat Guns, I guess. Let's send, them no send our Samsons north. We're going to be engaging kind of at minimum range here. For the Bertha. But hey, why not? If you've got a big gun, you might as well take advantage of it, am I right? The can, we like just took most of this health off the can in one go, that's fun.
So we can call... We'll name this Bertha the Can Opener. Seems like a fitting name. Let's see what we can find on the other side of this little gap here. Oh, they took out our energy storage with the stupid, uh, rain. Commander, where are you at? You wanna help build Hawks? I guess. I'm already over this whole asteroid concept. Send them in. this thing hit anything else, I wonder? Can we get maybe that guy? Or are we gonna clip the cliff? Oh, we got, we got something. Alright. How close can we get? Okay, we can probably get the Punisher. Maybe. We might just barely be able to get the Punisher with the Bertha. That would be nice. Seems like every other shot or so, we're hitting the cliff. But every once in a while, we're getting it through too. So let's, uh. Oh, what got destroyed over here? I feel like stuff's just randomly blowing up. Did we get the pulverizer yet? No, almost. Not too much longer, I don't think. Send in the next wave. I think we got enough Hawks to try and snipe the uh, Punisher because it's a pretty low health. There we go. Now we just gotta get these guys. I think the Bertha just killed our own Samson's. Oops. Danger close. Fire mission.
Okay. We're through the thick of it. I feel like now that we've kind of punched our uh, initial breach that the rest of the mission is not going to be nearly as difficult. Now that we're through the choke point. Especially since the core is suffering as badly from a uh, Oh, hey, that's a Gat Gun. Would you look at that? Bertha, do you want to take that out, actually? That might be something you can actually hit. more vamps. You'd think that the AI would at least be smart enough. Like, I know it's all pre-programmed, but you'd think they would at least be smart enough that, like, once uh, a unit started taking damage, even if it was set up on a certain trigger, that that would also be able to trigger it. Like, oh yeah, we're under attack, I, I guess, before we thought that we would be attacked. Okay. Taking out what's left of the enemy turrets. Oh, that's a vamp. It's called the Stealth Fighter because it's hard to see, right? That's why. Okay. The famous joke about the uh, F-117 where it's the wheels on the ground with the ladder going up to it. Alright. Oh, speaking of, uh, let's try that on for size. Victory is ours in uh, 32 minutes, which for a TA mission, not terrible. So I think we'll call that an episode, the zero build, and uh, whatever that was. And uh, see you next time.